Telecaster Next Guitar Kit build. Got the neck sitting right here. I've already got about two coats of the White Bond Poly on it, and as you can see, it's not bad looking at all. It's a pretty nice looking neck. Already got a nice shine on the. Let's see if I can get a, an area where I can get a good glare of it or something. Uh, it's already got a nice shine built up, and uh, two coats is not enough. I want to put more on here. Now you can see I got the blue painter's tape on here. I haven't made a trip to the uh, auto auto supply store for uh, uh, paint supplies and materials. So I've got to suffer what I got. And it's working out pretty good. Uh, the neck has been all block sanded. Like I said, there's kind of like a um, epoxy resin that's sprayed on this shit that uh, kind of protects the wood while it sits on the shelf or whatever in the boxes. And... Uh, pretty easy to sand off. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be to get it down to bare metal. So hopefully the body is the same way because it's got the same shit on it. So what I got going on, well, <clears throat> two coats on here, sanding and light sanding in between coats with some 800 grit sandpaper and using for a block a pencil eraser. Yep, I said a pencil eraser. It's flat. Nice sharp edge to get into tight spots if I need to. And it works. So what I'm going to be doing here is just kind of scuffing this up a little bit. I'm going to use circular motions instead of side to side motions. Reason why? Well, it helps as the wipe on poly shrinks. You don't see too many scratch marks through it because I'm not wet sanding this. So all I want to do is just give it a nice scuff. Don't want to remove the finish that's already on here, but I want to scuff it. And the reason why I'm using a block is because this has some nice edges on it that I don't want to remove. I want to keep these edges intact. the shit out of this. Now even though there's a radius right here, I can still use the block to get up in that radius. Again, some circular motion on the top over here. Now the paper will get basically uh, packed. So just find a clean spot. Tone again. Now again, I don't want to remove what I already have on here, so I just want to scuff this a little bit. Get the edges a little bit. I'm going to try to wear the edges out. Now you think, okay, I'm using a flat block to get in a kind of a radius, not a big deal. Just follow the radius with the block, not a big deal. Don't sit in one spot too long so you don't make a flat spot. Just follow the wood. The nice thing about using a block is all your sharp lines that go around over here, they'll still be there. The bad thing is you'll go through a little bit of paper here and there because it gets clogged up. Not a big deal. Got plenty of 800 grit paper. Now you want to be careful you don't have any wax on your hands or, or any type of oils on your hands when doing this. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Then follow the radius of the neck.
I'm slowly turning the neck as I'm sanding it. Now another way I would do this, now you got to be careful when you do something like this too. So you hold the paper kind of in the palm of your hand. You don't want to go this way with it because your fingertips will end up putting marks into the wood and you're basically what you're doing is you're making dimples with every finger. So you want to go side to side. So hold your hand this way. Just take it going side to side. Don't sit in one spot too long. Again, all I want to do is scuff this. So when I get over to a spot where it's a flat area, I'll go back to the block. Basically scuffed the shit out of it. All right, so I'm done with the paper. Got a tack rag here. Kind of wipe it down. Blow out any dust in any of the holes. <coughs> and I'm done. So next thing I want to do, wipe on poly. Yeah, wipe on poly. I know you guys are sick of it. Poke fun of it all the time. But you know what? It's not bad stuff. It actually works out pretty good. So again, I'd rather use a paper towel than a cut-up t-shirt. That is basically recommended to use for staining. And There is less lint in this paper towel than there is in a goddamn cut-up t-shirt. So let me get rid of the huge sandpaper. I don't know what I'm on poly. Shaken, not stirred. Rubber glove, bend over. Open up the rub on poly container, not a big deal. And I'll put probably two more coats after this one with some just some mild sanding in between. All right, rub on poly. Make sure you get this shit over every part of the surface that you want it on. Don't leave any part out.
surfaces. Polly, not only for sandwich making. All right, by tomorrow morning, this will be dry, and I'll be able to put another coat on it. There's a lot of nice wood inside of this, uh, as far as the grain goes. It looks fucking awesome. So, there you have it. Not a big deal. All right, guys, that's it. Till next time, this is going to have to set up and dry. Tomorrow I'll be able to give it a light scuff again and put another coat. Looks pretty good. Nice and looks nice and flat, nice and smooth, with a good gloss to it. You guys take care. Have a good one.